Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick preview to our Flyers kicking off their Canadian road trip in Edmonton tonight against those Edmonton Oilers, as their goaltender, Miko Koskinen, is going to be playing his third straight game due to the injury of their top netminder, Mike Smith. So, let's get right into it. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below on the easy-to-use widget at the end of the video. So, the Oilers are going to keep going with Koskinen and putting him in there, um, taxing him early in the season, and instead of trying to get their young guy Skinner in there to a game. When it comes to the rest of their lines, they got Slater, Koku, and Tyson Barry projected in the game preview. When it comes to the third defensive line, CC and Keith. When it comes to the second, the wise veteran Duncan Keith, and then Darnell Nurse and Evan Bouchard when it comes to the first line. The third line or the fourth line, excuse me, of their offense is Prilini, Devin Shore, and Kyle Torres. Then their third line is Warren Fogel, Derek Ryan, and Zach Cassian. Fogel's definitely a guy that I like once I saw him first in Carolina. Be interesting to see how he plays against the Flyers tonight, who don't usually play well and fare well at Edmonton, so that's something we need to see. And then Carter Harden, his early career going back home, hasn't fared as squeaky clean as we would like either, so this would be a great building block game, a great game. He hasn't played in Edmonton in a heck of a long time. I think when Jamie tweeted something, it was like almost two years since before the lockout season, or not the lockout season, the the shortened season with the COVID season, um, he didn't play really in Edmonton for a while. So he has a whole, he's, just, he's in a completely different part of his career now, and he has a whole different perspective probably on the game than when he was first there because he was first there as a very young buck, even though he's still that, but is at least more mature in the game now. So I think I expect a definitely better game from Carter Hart and not what on the Flyers talk they talked about, which was just entirely true. That one game, I think he allowed like six goals or something. He got pulled eventually, and it wasn't too great in Edmonton. But I expect a bounce back from them tonight. Let's move on to their second line is Dreisaitl, Yamamoto, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. And then Hyman, Connor McDavid, and UC Pujarvi are the first line. So that comes to their lines. The Flyers, when it comes to Edmonton Oilers, you obviously have to keep up with their game speed. Obviously, for being at the size they are, Dreisaitl and especially Connor McDavid fly like the wind or lightning or whatever analogy you want to use of something quick. So you got to really obviously man those two guys. But you got Yamamoto who's a little a nice little firecracker out there himself that can score, can pass, can also agitate a little bit. So you got to watch him and then you see Puyarvi just continues to get better and better as time goes on. Where when it comes past and Nugent Hopkins I should throw in there. And then you have of course the great acquisition save the best for last when it comes to their pickup in Zach Hyman, who's a big guy that's been a big factor in their team early on as the Oilers are 5-0, and oh, so this is not going to be an easy game. A Flyers are 2-1-1. One, and one. He's been a huge factor in that, really coming in and really supplanting himself. He already has five goals in five games and one assist for six points. So he's definitely doing good on the offensive side of things. So you got to really lock down those top two lines. And then their bottom six got a hell of a lot better defensively in terms of controlling the game than it was in past years because you have Derek Ryan, who's a very good faceoff and defensive center. Warren Fogel, who's a very good 200-foot player, is not going to overly impress you in the offensive end, but does everything you want right. So this is a team you really have to play a very complete game against and play a game that the Flyers, of course, played against the Kraken. We saw them play, but also, of course, early on in the season when it came to the Vancouver game early on, and then they just fell flat like the players talked about in the post game. So you got to play a little bit more of a complete game, and you got to have that same battle mentality that you had in the Boston game as well when you didn't really play the best overall game, but you were able to keep bouncing back and having that great battle mentality to be able to get that 6-3 to three win. The Flyers are going to need a combination of those two tilts. you got to come out strong, but they're going to really push back more than the Kraken, you would presume, the Oilers. So you're going to need that battle mentality, and that just no matter what they push back at you, you're going to push back stronger, which is what we kind of saw when it came from our goaltending or from a good defensive play, or especially from the offense sparking the equation when it came to that Bruins game, you're going to have to see a mix of that. You obviously don't want to see what you saw in the tail end of that Florida game against this Oilers team where towards the back end you gave them better chances. That's not going to fly against an Oilers team that just like it didn't fly against Florida and we lost 4-2. to two. You're going to need to step up and play a concise full 60 minutes against them and have that same brute battle mentality we had in the Bruins game. When it comes to the Flyers, though, as we wrap up this video, 
their projected lines are, again, obviously Carter Hart starting at home. You're going to have Sealer with Keith Yandel again due to the fact that Ryan Ellis skated but is out. They also said Mike Smith did skate for the Oilers, but he is out as well. And then you have Claude Giroux, Couturier, and Konechny as the first line. Derek Broussard, Atkinson, and Fair be the killer line as the second line. Lindblom, Lawden, Van Riemsdyk is the third, and then Albe Kubel, Nate Thompson, and Zach McEwen as the fourth. So that is the Flyers' lines for tonight. Obviously, they need to play a more concise and complete game that they played in the Kraken game, but you're going to get a hell of a lot more pushback from the Oilers. That's why they're 5-0. and oh. And like they played in the Boston game, who is more comparable team-wise, obviously they're not 5-0, and oh, but is more comparable team-wise, at least to having that great first two-line structure and then kind of filling in the bottom two. So you're going to have to have that same battle and just kind of shoot back at them stronger than they came at you that we had in the Boston game. And this could have a chance to be a good outcome and a great outcome for Carter Hart since he's going to be playing in front of family and try to get this W. So let's go Flyers. Let's get it done. Morton Jones will get to play in front of his family tomorrow in Vancouver. His dad's still connected to that organization. So let's get it done tonight for Carter in front of his family in Edmonton. And then let's bring that momentum into tomorrow to get it done for Marty in front of his. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Let's go, Flyers.